Hello, Jason. Uh, you were asking about how to do the walk cycle in that kind of Hanna and Barbera Scooby Doo type of way where the background moves opposed to the character and the character just stays in a locked position kind of centrally in screen and obviously doing a walk cycle. And you can do that in Character Animator very easily. So at the moment, when you press left and right, obviously the character is walking out shot. So the first thing you got to do is deal with that. Um, again, look to the right hand side of your screen, look to properties and then find the walk behavior. And what you need to do is find body speed and change that to zero. And then it's just going to walk on the spot. So that's that um, issue dealt with. Next you're going to have to import a background. So let's import, I'll just find one I've got on my computer. So find your scenery, import, and then drag this down into your scene. Um, now what you got to do is make sure that your scenery is a lot longer than your scene. So if your scene is set up at 19 20 pixels then obviously whatever scenery you bring in is going to need to be about um, double that 4,000 6,000 pixels in width and then so I'm going to just scale this one down that I've got Whoop. Oh, we've got this road here and then I'm going to um, your Y position moves things up and down and your X position moves things left and right. So, if we move this all the way to that side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to record an action. Um, so, we're going to record moving this all the way to the other side. So, I'm going to press this little stop clock here transform so this is the starting position and then move it along to however far on your um all right let's say 30 second mark and i'm going to press this little uh, keyframe button and then i'm going to move the scene along To there and then if I go back to the start and press play you see the scene is moving along and then now if I click back on to Jason and if I press record And there you go, that's pretty much how you do it. So I'm just hold just for the purpose of showing how it looks, I'm just holding it down until we get to the 30 second mark. Um I mean you didn't need to hold it all down, I could have literally just um, recorded it for a few seconds and then dragged the timeline along. So let's press play. And there you go. Done. Simple as that. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. But just to reinstate what I did, um, you import your scene that you make, you drag it onto the timeline, then you go to transform, you um, press your little stopwatch icon next to the position X, um, which drags your object left to right. Um, then down here you have your starting position then move along to where you want it to go to press your little keyframe button and then change the um, finishing position and then that's the I'll have the background moving and then obviously you go back to your character um, you can literally just record him walking for a little bit and let's say if I just held it down for a few seconds it would have been like that and then you literally just grab that, drag it along to there. And then you've got your Scooby-Doo stall. 
background walk circle thingy bob <laughs> any question feel free to ask bye